All right, guys, welcome back, and welcome to the last part of the autograph collection. This is going to be on, strictly on the WWE Encyclopedia, so let's get started. I pretty much took time today to bookmark pretty much all the pages I needed to show you guys. Okay, so we're going to start here. On the title page, we have Billy Kay, we have Peyton Royce, and Dom Dyer is on there. Billy and Peyton could not be sweeter. Uh, I would pretty much support these girls, no matter where they go. Big fan of the Iconics. Hoping for the best of for Casey and uh, Jesse Kay. I... I been following Billy since the independence. Norm Dyer, I met him at the same time uh, when they were doing a whole storyline when he was dating with Alicia Fox. That pretty much made that my weekend meeting Alicia Fox. She's one of the sweetest persons that you could ever meet, despite what some people might say. Some of the personal experiences get, that you have, guys, are, you just got to have for yourself and... I enjoyed meeting her. Speaking of, there's Alicia Fox's autograph. Alright. Let's see who we got here. We have the Brian Kendrick and Cedric Alexander down there. They were both signed together. and uh, Cedric is, I don't think he's in here, so he signed where Brian Kendrick was. See, I, I wish Ryder would have done something like this with Hawkins Page. But no, he did not. And that's why I have my major gripe about him. Anyways, talking about Kurt Hawkins. Don't like Zach Ryder, like Kurt Hawkins, though. Couldn't be a nicer guy. Brian Myers. Right there. And then up next is my favorite tag team of all time. Demolition, Axe and Smash. As I said in the previous video, how much of a joy it was meeting these guys. A lot of people say LOD is their favorite team of all time, but Demolition's number one for me. LOD would be number two. And then we have Fondango. Uh, when he was signed with Tyler Breeze, they were in their Southpaw regional wrestling uh, gimmicks. He was, uh, uh, I believe, Chet Cheddarfield is the name of it. Uh, he was signed with Tyler in gimmick. And then over here... We have Heath Slater. I'll pretty much support Heath no matter where he goes. Uh, hoping that he recovers okay. I really want to see Heath win a world championship uh, somewhere. You know, I don't know if it's going to be Impact, especially with Kenny Omega being who Kenny Omega is. But yeah, I would love to see Heath win a world championship one day. And then we have my childhood hero, Hulk Hogan. I met him at Hogan's Beach Shop. And uh, originally, Hogan uh, signed two things. I gave one of the autographs to my friend, uh, Shane. Um paid about $200 for the autograph, but Hulk, uh, I believe it was 205 or whatever, or 250 or whatever, because Hulk uh, ch charges an extra 50 because a lot of people like to sign, well, not sign, but sell his autograph on eBay and Amazon. Let's see if we can autofocus. There we go. So uh, Hulk wants to make sure that uh, when people ask for it, they really actually want that. And then, nope. let's 
sticky notes. Uh, <laughs> we got Tyler Breeze over here. Um, Trish Stress is over here. I met Trish already. Hopefully someday I can get a few more here. I mean, Ty Dellinger, Sean Spears is up there. And uh, Typhoon is over there. I usually don't lug this around with me to autograph sessions. Um, I did when I went to the first um, WWE Access because you never really know where anybody is. They don't tell you ahead of time. And this is a nice thing to have. Uh, especially because the wrestlers do, you know, of course, free photos, autographs for general admission, uh, access. VIP, I mean, I could probably get signed by a lot more people. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. This is the last part of the autograph collection, I promise. All right, please like and subscribe for me. And we'll see you in the next video.